Okay, so uh, today we'll start with our Uncork uh, course. So in which like I would be uploading the Uncork tutorials or like step by step the entire tutorial of Uncork each and every day. So in which we are going to cover the Uncork platform uh, from zero to expert level. So just to give you a brief introduction about Uncork, like what is Uncork and what is this tool, right? Which is recently uh, booming in market. So just to give you a brief idea about what is Uncork? So Uncork is used to build the web applications. So you guys must be knowing the uh, traditional coding languages, right? JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and we have different libraries or framework like Angular and React. So those are something we need to write the code in it and those are built based on the code, right? We need to write the code. But here with Uncork, it's like a low code, no code platform where uh, with, like mini with like minimum use of code or maybe we can say with no use of code, we can build a uh, enterprise level application, which would be obviously a web based application. Uh, so this is the use of Uncork as a platform. Okay. And this is what we are going to learn in this tool. So yeah, uh, like Uncork, there are many different tools like Mendix, Out Systems, Bubble. So you guys must be now knowing these tools and you might have heard these names. But yeah, Uncork is something which is like launched in 2017 and which is there in market. And recently there is a lot of requirement uh, and there is a lot of demand for this tool. Uh, Uto is like the way it works and the way we can like build the application quickly. And the most important thing, how fast we can learn this tool and get ready to build our application. So that is why there is a lot of demand for this tool in the market. So we'll just start with the course. So what I will do, like uh, I will not give you any facts. Okay, we'll just use a chat GPT to get like what are what is the exact fact of this low code. Uh, low code capability which is available in the market what is the demand of this low code no code tool and what is the future of it and we'll like ask those questions to chat gpt only to get our answers which are uh, dependent on the facts right which are present in the world so okay let's let's get started with asking the first question which is like uh what is future of low code no code Okay, so instead of like bulleting that we'll ask at DPT, so here it is like the given, right? So the future of low code, no code platform looks promising as this technology continue to gain popularity among businesses of all size. And you can just go through this, you can just pause the screen and you can just go through this entire thing. So overall, what it says is like uh, over in the time, like in the future, this like development, these tools are going to get a lot of demand and most of the businesses are going to switch towards the uh, low code no code uh, technologies as with the, the pace in which we can like build the production level application with these tools and get this application on the production environment as soon as possible so yeah most of the businesses are like going towards this tools so this is what they have mentioned also this can be this can lead to faster development cycles and more agile responses to business needs Okay, so this is what uh, the future of low code, no code tools looks like. Uh, so yeah, just to this to this uh, tutorial would be like inclined towards the Uncork as a platform. So let's get started with Uncork platform. Uh, so here I have just uh, put this in Google like Uncork training environment. So just before we get started, so every like tool if we want to build or learn. So there is like a separate environment is required, right? So maybe in case of like Java, you would like download some different IDE and Java packages. And in case of JavaScript, you can do it on browser. But with Uncork, it's like a training we need as this is a web based tool. Uh, so if we want to configure or if we want to learn this tool also, also uh, we need to get the access of a training environment. So what is training environment? So for Uncork, we don't need to I mean, there is no way to download a software kind of a thing which we can install in our computer and then practice. Like it is something a web-based tool. So even if you want to learn the uh, tool, we need to have an internet access. And then as this is a web application or kind of a web-based tool, we need to get the access of a training environment also to practice Uncock. So this is something uh, which is kind of uh, annoying as of now because this tool, Uncock tool is something which is recently launched and they haven't given some IDE or a client based software to practice, but we should be having the training environment access to uh, start learning this tool. 
so yeah uh, if you type this uncock training environment here you will see all those things so we have a documentation also and uncor where literally it is called as uncock academy where uh, the entire documentation and different courses are given are uh, mentioned uh, i mean different courses of uncor are present there so it is like a text based uh, text based uh, documentation is there with uncor academy so you can go through that documentation if you want if you want to learn more about that but yeah we'll go through that so yeah just to get the access of training environment uh what is there like this is the first link right so training environment request so if you click on this training environment request uh what you will see is like you will get a form so here what this is what you will get thank you for your interest uh, in learning more about onco to receive onco training access please complete this to be approved okay so you need to fill one one form and which needs to be submitted uh, to the onco team and uh, within some time maybe like uh, 24 to 40 hours they will revert back and they will give the access to our uh, account so the catch here is like uh, in training environment if you want to get the access of training environment uh, we need to uh, we need to provide our work email id so let's suppose you are working in some organization and if that organization is associated or it is like active partner with uncock then only you will get the access so as of now if you want to learn uncock then in whichever uh, organization or firm you are working on that firm needs to be partnered with unco and with your work email id you will get the access to the training environment so here are few details that we need to uh, fill up like first name last name organization name and this is most important the correct work email and yeah here is like association with unco maybe you can write some comment this is the optional thing and you can submit so yeah this is what uh, they have given like request would be reviewed every monday Wednesday and Friday, excluding US holidays. So we need to wait for that time. Next is we'll go to the training environment link. So let me share that training environment link. We'll go to the uh, training environment and we'll get started with Uncock. Like how the tool looks and what is the user interface of Uncock. So here is the training environment link. So if you like open this link, uh, it will open this link, which is training environment. So let me log log in here uh, with my credentials. Yeah, so uh, this is what the first page of Uncock we can say looks like. Uh, so here, like this is a workspace. So let me give you a brief about what is workspace. So workspace is something like if you try to correlate these things uh, with the traditional coding. Whenever we want to create our application, we basically create a folder, right? Uh, in JavaScript or in Java or different frameworks, we create a folder, and that folder is called something called as a repository or a workspace. We say, and there we keep all the uh, pages or whatever the documents or maybe whatever the uh, stuff that is associated with that project that we are building we keep all that stuff inside that particular repository okay so in the same way we have a workspaces in uncock which is called as a repository we can uh, relate that workspace with uh, repositories so here this is like workspace those are created so as this training environment is like uh, associated with a lot of people right a lot of people are uh, working with uh, within this uh, training environment so you can see different workspaces of those people so here are those workspaces this boxes uh, these rectangular boxes you can see so those are called as a workspaces and uh, like if you are having uh, if you are directly associated with uncock then here you will get the button uh, to create your own workspace okay or if not in uh, directly uncock association but even if you are working in other environment other than the training environment uh, so there you will get the button as create workspace and you can create your own workspace but but as i said as this is a practice environment so this is like we don't have a liberty to create our own workspace because whatever the th things like we need to practice or we need to create our application uh, that we can create in this default workspace uh, point okay so here if you click on this so this is like we are entering into a default workplace and here we can start working or like start creating your apps or modules. So these are like terms I will explain you in detail, like what is app and what is module and all those term things I will explain you. Uh, but yeah, as we are getting started, we need to come to this point, which is called as default workspace. And from here, we can create our application and we can get started from this. Yeah, so here we can create our app. So let's do an uh, create our app so here you can see the button like create app button 
So here we need to enter the details of the app that we want to create. Okay, so here we need to enter the app name. So let's uh, give any name, maybe test. Correct this. So yeah, here I have written test app one. So here, if you see app path is there. So this is the app path, which is automatically generated. So uh, in training environment, there are a lot of apps, right? So as we are writing this name, so this is uniquely generated. This is like automatically generated. And this path is already taken, right? This is not unique compared to the training environment. So that is why we are getting this error, like app path must be unique. So it should be unique. So that is why we are getting this unless that Unless this error is removed, we won't be able to create an app. So let's write something. Maybe let's give some other name, maybe uh, test app. Instead of test app one, let's give test app 13th. Okay, 1303, which is today's date. So yeah, this is unique. So we are not getting the error. And here we can select the styles, whatever we want to select. So we'll come to the styles part as we progress in this course. So as of now, we can keep this style, header module, footer module, login module, and this logout module as blank. I will just explain you what is uh, required to create an app, which is mandatory thing. Uh, and here you can see there are two app types. So this is also, we'll go through this in detail, what is module app type and uh, workflow app type. So let, let's now first now like select the, select the app type as module. And here you can select the app entry point as new entry point. So here this create button is enabled. If we click on this, it will be created. This app would be created. And let's wait for that to be created. Okay, so now our app is created. So this is how the look and feel of our app looks like. So this is the hierarchy, right? We are we went to the workspaces and from there uh, we went to the default workspace. And in this default workspace, we are we are having this app called as test app. Uh, 1303. So this is the app name and here are the modules. So these are called as modules. Okay. So whatever uh, the things like let's suppose if I create here a new. So what is module, right? So we can imagine module as a page. Okay. So let's suppose this is uh, one module which is created by the name of an app. So if you want to create a page, okay, which is a page one. So in our application, there would be different pages, right? So we can create different pages and how we can create pages is like using and creating the module. So this is how we can create a module. So here again, we are getting the same error, which is like module path is like must be unique. So we can uh, add some uh, unique name. So that would like create a unique path. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have you know, given the same 1303, which is like unique now and here we can add the tags. So as this is a UI tag, I mean, this is a UI module, right? So this model, which we are going to create, uh, this would be kind of a page of our application. So that is what we have called as page one of our application. So this is a user interface module, right? Or a page we are creating. So this is a optional, but here we can uh, give the tag as UI. So what are, what are tags? So these are something which would be used by Uncog to categorize our module. So this tag we have given as UI. So this would be used further by Uncock in many different utilities. So we'll see that where these tags are something helpful. So it is helpful. So it is better to keep the tags uh, here, even though it is optional. We can, it is better. It is a best practice to add a tag on every module creation. So whenever we perform search operation, so with the help of tags, it would be quickly retrieved. Just like we add the tags on Instagram and Facebook and whatever the other social media platforms, right? So this is where we need to add a tag. So as this is a UI page or kind of a user interface I'm creating. I'm just giving here a tag as UI and here we can write the other as like whatever we want number of things we can add and here I can click on this create button which is like create module. So here this module is created. Yeah and here if you can see uh, once we have entered into this app so we can see here a modules as well as data collection. If we click on this data collection here, we can create a data collection as per our need. 
uh, we'll see in this see the details of this in the further videos but this is how the look and feel of uh, data collection section is and this is the module so from the next lecture we'll like start deep diving into this modules and data collections uh, so as of now let's stop for this video and we'll see in the next video